Hey guys, welcome back. We got some random battles here for you. If you like this kind of content, leave a comment down below, and let's get right into it. I start off with my Crocodile, he starts off with the Gengar, so that's a nasty plot right in my face. I go for the Crunch, take him out at one shot. He then goes into his Slacking, and I go into my Mismatches, predicting the fighting move. He goes for the Body Slam, which does not affect. He then goes into his Cricketune, and I decided to return the favor, go for a nasty plot of my own, follow up with a Shadow Ball, do a huge chunk of damage. He then goes for the Taunt, and then I clean him up with another Shadow Ball. I take some Life Orb damage, and then he decides to go back into his Slacking. I then go back into my Crocodile expecting a Dark move, get the Intimidated off. He goes for the Throw Chop, I resist that, does barely any damage. He's loafing around, I go for the Earthquake, do a nice chunk of damage, take some Life Orb. He goes for another Throw Chop, barely anything, I decide, might as well set up my Stealth Rocks. He then switches into his Houndstone, takes some Rock damage, go for the Earthquake, do a nice chunk. He then goes for the Body Press, almost takes down my Crocodile, but I'm able to hang on, take him out with an Earthquake. He then decides to go into his Flareon, takes some rocks damage, goes for the quick attack, takes out my Crocodile. He then gets the bad poison from the Toxic Orb, activating his guts. I go into my Gorgonicle, he goes into his Slack King, I decide to go for the Salt Cure because it's the most broken move in the game. He takes a little bit more damage from that, I then go back into my Mismagius expecting the ground move, Levitate helps me with that. He takes a little bit more damage from the Cure, and goes back into his Flareon. I then start to think some nasty thoughts, get a little special attack boost, he takes some poison damage. Go for the Shadow Ball, take out the Flareon. He then goes back into his Slacking, takes rocks, almost goes down, goes for the Throat Chop, takes out my Mismagius. I then go back into the Gorgonicle. He's loafing around, I decide to go for the Cure. One down Slacking. He then goes into his last mod, the Belly Bolt, takes some rock damage, goes for the Muddy Water, does a big chunk to my Gorgonicle. I go for the Salt Cure, activate his ability, he gets a little charge boost. We get some lefties, he gets cure damage, goes for another muddy water, this one misses, I missed a stone edge, we both need some glasses. He then goes for another muddy water, this one hits, does a big chunk to my rock, I go for the stone edge, hit him, do a little bit, activate his ability again. We both get our lefties, some cure damage, he goes for the slack off, gets a huge chunk back, I decide to miss another stone edge. Get some lefties and some salt cure, I then decide to switch into my sun floor, thinking it'll be easier to take him out. I resist the muddy water, he gets his lefties back, takes some more cure damage, goes for a slack off, but Sunfloor is packing the earth power through a huge chunk to the belly bolt. He gets some more lefties. He then goes for the Terra, goes for the Thunderbolt, I resist that, get the para, doesn't matter, take him out with the earth power. Good game. Alrighty, and let's get right into game two. I start off with my ground on, he starts out with his Lorantis. I get the sun up, I decide to switch out expecting the grass move, he goes for the leaf storm, Houndoom resists that, but he's still able to get his boost. He then switches into his Volcanion, I go for the fire blast, he resists that, barely does anything. I then switch into my Salamence, predicting the war move, get the intimidate, he ends up going for the flame charge, just barely anything, but gets a speed boost. He then decides to go for the Steam Eruption, I resist that, it does barely any damage. I start going for the Dragon Dance, get my boost, Sun's still out there, go for the Earthquake, do a huge chunk but he's able to hold on, goes for another Steam Eruption, I'm able to eat that right up. He then switches into his Zerud, I go for the Earthquake, he resists that, barely does anything. I then go for the Dual Wing Beat, completely whiff that, he goes for the Crunch, almost takes me out, able to go for another Dual Wing Beat, take out the Zerud. He then switches back into his Volcanion. I'm able to go for an Earthquake, clean him up. He then switches into his Hall Lucha. I go for the Outrage, just for the max damage, able to one-shot the Hall Lucha. He then throws in Love Disc, goes for the Protect, go for the Outrage, can't do anything. The Outrage just keeps continuing, able to take out the Love Disc with one shot. He then switches into his Several Edge, goes for the Shadow Sneak, takes out my Salamence. Takes a little bit of Life Orb. I go into my Sneasler, go for the Night Slash to a huge chunk, but he's able to hold on. Activates the weak armor, gets his speed boost, goes for the Bitter Blade, but I'm able to hang on. He's then able to outspeed me, goes for another Bitter Blade, takes down my Sneasler. I then go into my Houndoom, go for the Sucker Punch, able to take out the Cyrilage. He then goes back into his Lorantis, I go for the Terror Poison, he goes for the Terror Water, go for the Sludge Bomb, and do just a little bit. He goes for the Pollen Puff, I resist that, does nothing to me. Get some lefties, go for another Sludge Bomb, get a Lucky Poison. He goes for the Leaf Storm, trying to get his boost, does nothing to me. He gets some Poison Damage, go for the Sludge Bomb, take out the Lorantis. Good game. 
Alrighty, and let's get into game three. He starts off with Iron Leaves, I start with my Glalie. He goes for the close combat, gets the one shot, takes out my Glalie. I then switch into my Tornado's Therian form. He switches into his Noivern. I go for the Bleak Windstorm, completely miss him. He goes for the Flamethrower, does a nice chunk to my Tornadus. I go for another Storm, do a little bit to him, gets a speed drop. Go for another one, completely miss. He then goes for the Roost, gets all of his health back. I then go for another Storm, do a nice chunk to him. He goes for a Flamethrower, gives me a little chunk. I then decide to switch into my Palafin. He goes for the Roost, gets all of his health back. I then decide to go for the flip turn, do a little chunk, but I primarily just want to activate my ability. Go into my Muck, he goes for the Draco, Muck eats that up. He gets a special attack lower. He then switches into his Iron Moth. I go for the Ice Punch, he resists that, does barely anything. I then switch back into my Palafin, but now he's a hero. Goes for the Fire Dance, my Palafin resists that. He then switches back into his Iron Leaves. I go for the Jet Punch, get a crit, but still do barely anything. I then switch back into my muck. He goes for the side blade, takes out my muck. I then go back into my tornadoes. He switches into his Noivern, but I predict that. Go for the nasty plot, get my special attack boost. He goes for the Draco, does a big chunk, but I'm able to hang on. I miss another bleak windstorm. He goes for the roost, gets all of his health back. I go for the bleak windstorm to a huge chunk, but he's able to hold on. Goes for the Draco, but with the attack lower, I'm able to hang on. Go for the 100% heat wave, take out the Noivern. He then goes back into his Iron Moth, go for the Bleak Windstorm, get the one shot, but it happens to be his Aurora. Still, a good kill for Tornadoes. He then goes into his Spectre, go for the Bleak Windstorm, take him out as well. My opponent then forfeits, good game. And that's the video. Please leave a comment down below about what you think, and stay tuned for future content. Peace!